Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The house is the home and fortress of the family. We Muslims use it as a place of rest as we seek refuge away from the world. We spend time with our families, we worship, we eat, and we sleep in our homes. And Allah has made it for you from your homes a place of rest and made for you from the heights of the animals' tents which you find light on your day of travel and your day of encampment. Chapter 16, verse 80. When leaving a house, one should say, Amantu billahi, yawakkaltu ala Allahi ma sha Allahu la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. I believe in Allah, I trust Allah, I accept what Allah wishes. There is no power and authority except of Allah. And when returning, you should recite Surah Al Ikhlas and then say salam to those at home. Whether a house is considered special or of good fortune is decided by how wide the courtyard is and how good are the neighbours. You should not leave your house suspended except to offer prayers in it. It is highly not recommended to spend the night in a house that does not have curtains in it. Imam Sadiq says, It is proper that you should sweep the area of your house. Take the rubbish out of the house and do not allow it to remain in the house at night. Do not also stack the rubbish at the back of the door. Close the doors of the house and cover the vessels containing food and water. Do not remain in the house or sleep there while you are alone. And it is extremely abominable to peep into a neighbor's house. Keeping pet animals is very rewarding and recommended. Appropriate animals are birds, chickens, sheep and goat. It is haram to keep a dog unless living far from a populated area. If properly looked after, houses can be made into a place of sanctity and remembrance of Allah. It is our duty, no matter how big or small, we look after our house and keep it clean. No one likes a bad neighbour, so alhamdulillah for Ahlul Bayt who have shown us how to be the best of neighbours.